can still create stunning, stunning logo designs with just shapes using your Canva, even on a free account. We are creating this beautiful 3D logo with Canva. If you don't have Canva, you can go to my link in the description to open a Canva account. We are using the free account today. So we're using our shapes and our lines to create this free logo with shapes. So you can give it a name and then you know you can trace your work. So the first thing that you're going to do, you could change the background and make it black so that it becomes quite stunning. White also works, especially if you want to make it a 3D at the end of your design. Then you're going to press C for circle or you can head over to your shapes and just click on circle. Then you make your circle bigger. <laughs> I'm funny. Then you add your circle to the middle of the page and then change the color to a bright yellow color. So I do have a hex code for this one and I want that yellow to be my design. Then we're going to duplicate the shape and we change the color of the second shape and we make it a nice beautiful round shape. So in order for you to get the exact size, the perfect size for you, just add it so that it is in the middle of the other circle and it looks something like that. Then you head over to your shapes and you will use either a square or one of the shapes that are going to give you the line that you want, which we could always press R for and create a rectangle so that we can slice our circle in this format so that we have half half and then your rectangle you change to black to start building your light bulb what then you will do so that you're not disturbed you highlight everything and you group it and then you press l for a line in order for you to start tweaking and creating a light bulb so we're going to move our light bulb to the side so that it doesn't get stuck with the other shapes and then we make it 90 degrees this format so that it's standing straight and then we're going to click on the stroke size and then we make it nice and big and thick for us to get the exact size you can move it over to your circle and then increase it so that it is exact size the best way to do this is to zoom absolutely in because if you zoom in you can see the exact size if you need to reduce it to maybe 34 or 33 so that it's the exact size you're able to see that i'm happy with the 35 that's quite cool and i'm right on there and happy then we change the white line. We also make it a yellow. And this is where you start tweaking your design so that it becomes like a light bulb. And what helps a lot is these line types that Canva has for us. And we can change it to curved. And then you can start curving your line to be exactly what you want. So I'm going to reduce it. And then start curving it a little bit to create the the shape of a light bulb. To a shape that looks like that. Then you're going to Grab your line again, duplicate that, bring it to the bottom of the page so that you can curve it the other way to create that beautiful light bulb that we so want. And you have a shape that looks like that. I just want to bring it a little bit down. And... My light bulb is spot on. The bottom of this shape, I want to make it rounded. So I'm going to 
open my line type my lines and then change it to round end points so that I can get that beautiful roundness of the light bulb and I'm happy and I also want this portion to be rounded the best one that you could use would be your circle so press C for circle and then move it over to the end of this shape so that you also get rounded end point over here so you can squeeze it and drag it and get the perfect round end shape for your design grab the last line duplicate that and then put it on the side and then group the whole light bulb so that we can continue creating what i want to add now is the bottom of your light bulb so i'm going to go back to my line types and i'm going to make it straight and then i take it over to my light bulb and then i can have the bottom of a light bulb And then we duplicate this for the second light bulb portion. And then you duplicate that for the last part of your light bulb. Beautiful. Now you have your beautiful light bulb created. So we do want the light bulb to shine bright like a diamond. So I could grab one of these and duplicate them so that I have the light bulb shining quite bright like a diamond. Then I, I want to create not a lot of these, just maybe four to represent that the light, light bulb is light. Awesome. It's going quite nicely the way that I want it. So the last portion is for you to write the name of this business and their tagline if you want to include that on your design. You're going to press T for text and we want nice big bold font. We're going to use Leek Spartan and we're going to type the name of the business which is Bright. And we're going to make bright nice and big and bright and add it to the icon. And if you go to your advanced settings, they're able to space the letters just to have that beautiful design of your work and put things to align as well. Alignment just makes so much sense when you're designing. I like that it's aligning with the light bulb. And then I'm going to lastly create the last part of our design. Cool. Canva has created beautiful things these days. I would love to have a dot on top of my eye. And I'm going to go and use this six-pointed star that's available on your free account. You just click on it once. But... Look what it does when you've selected it. You head over to the curving lines. You have an option of making this little star absolutely amazing. You can increase the points so that it's so small or bigger. It depends on you. And then you can also create depth and make it go like the sun. I think this is brilliant. I love it. So this is going to be our eye and it's bright and it's shining and we're going to add it to our design and we have a beautiful logo design. If this is adding value, please let me know in the comments and share and like and let me know what else you'd like to see. Looks like we are creating again and we have all of these logos in our heads. So we'll create more if you let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to highlight everything and then I'm going to uh, group it and then align it and then I can create a 3d version of this if I want to and if you do want to just change everything so that it is 
white and then you can remove the background so i'm just gonna duplicate this because i love this black one it is so cool and you change the background color to white and then all of the shapes that are there you also change to white in our text we can make that black and we have like a gorgeous design in black in white you can do red if you want to and then you can carry on like that so once you're done and you want to do 3d you go to share you go to download i want to use the white design so i'm going to change the pages and select page two and click on done and then download it if you're on a free account you can't download with the background remover that's fine we have to take off the shapes anyway because canva doesn't do that anymore so you're gonna press on your tab and you open up a website called remove.bg to take off all of the whites on your design you just go to your downloads and you drag it to remove.bg and then it takes off the shapes the background and you you like you're left with a stunning stunning design and then you're gonna go to photo p online and you're going to convert so if you're using photo p the last i checked on the app it wasn't working quite lacquer i haven't tried it lately but you do have a choice of using it online and converting to 3d so once you've opened your photo p you're gonna press and select templates it lands on this gorgeous black and red logo black wall i love using it but it's not the only one that's available there's hundreds of templates on photo p that you could use to make your designs beautiful there's even white ones there's t-shirt ones there's gold ones go scroll down and have fun and see which one you want i'm gonna use the black wall one so you double click and you open the template so that it loads it then you're gonna move your hand over to where it says your logo here and you move it to the checkered box and you double click on the so that it shows you how your logo should be placed and how it should look like once you've seen you can click on the eye to hide it and then you head over to your downloads to go find your own logo that you've just created so did i download it from uploads i don't think so after it has taken down the background you still need to download it i'm going to use the free option because my account is free there and then I'm gonna grab it and drag it to my design. As you've seen, in order for it to look stunning, I need to make it nice and huge, but I don't want to cut the text. So I'm gonna do it very cleverly that I don't cut the design itself and everything is in the canvas like this. Then I'm gonna press Command S or Control S if I'm using a word, and, and then it will convert it to save as a smart object then you click on the first tab and your design looks like this clearly the, the black is not working quite nicely so we can jump over to canva and change the color of black so that it looks nice right so we can always make it a gray so that we can see it when we convert not white a gray one and then you follow the same process And then we go to the first tab and ha oh, looks stunning doesn't it look stunning let me know in the comments if it looks stunning if you want more ideas of creating logos we do have a playlist that could help you with shapes logos thank you so much for joining me go watch this next video for your next logo idea that you could turn into 3d